Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hey guys, today we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is between the biggest two Android devices out on the market. That is the Galaxy S6 versus the LG G4. We're going to be seeing which one is better in which categories. Now, as always, you can watch them all at once or seeing them broken down piece by piece. Feel free to take a look at which one you want, as they will both be on our YouTube channel. Let's get started and see which one really is the best for you. Now, first off, we do have the look and feel category. When it comes to look and feel, these two are very different. On the G LG G4, we have really the same look from last year, which is quite unfortunate. It has a little bit of a different pattern on the background, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. Now, of course, you can get the leather backing and swap it out, but that does cost you extra. And although you can't do the same with the S6, it would just be nicer for someone to notice, hey, that's a different phone, or oh, you still have the G3. And that's what it really seems like. With this phone, it seems like what Samsung did last year Whereas the S5 and S4 looked too similar, so do the G3 and G4. Samsung, however, of course, easily made such a difference this year, coming out with two different phones. One we have right here is the S6 Edge, but even the regular S6 just stood out for having a glass backing, something with a real premium feel on that two-tone design of gold and platinum on this one. And obviously you have the black sapphire and the white, which doesn't get any fingerprints. And that's the downside of having glass, of course, that you will get fingerprints on them. Now, overall, will that be that bad? If you have a case, of course, that can stop it from getting that. But again, that's an add-on just like the G4 cases. Overall, for look and feel, though, I think most people would agree that the S6 is not only easier for one-handed capability, uh, in terms of feel, but obviously the look just looks a lot more stylish and really just a difference from last year's model compared to the G4, which just kind of looks the same. So overall for look and feel, I would definitely give it to the Galaxy S6. Now when it comes to web browsing, the first thing we always take a look at is the screen quality. So first of all, both displays are the same resolution coming in at 1440 by 2560 but the S6 is a 5.1 inch screen, whereas the G4 is a 5.5 inch screen. So in terms of pixels per inch, the LG G4 is 538 and the S6 is 577. Now, truthfully, as long as it's above uh, the resolution of 500 pixels per inch, your human eye really can't tell the difference. But it is important to note that it kind of just takes a little bit more because of buttons unless you always change it to full screen on certain apps. So just important to note when it comes to that. All right, now let's check out the web browsing capability on here. And just by checking out and seeing which one loads the page faster. And the G4 seemed to load it first, and then the S6. So a slight advantage to the G4 when it comes to that aspect. Let's see which one seems to move better. The S6 seemed to move a little bit better at first, but they're about the same. All right, now let's see, double tap. The G4 doesn't seem to do double tap. Maybe it thinks the website is already too zoomed in, but it, no, it does do pinch to zoom. So for some reason, the G4 does not do double tap, which is a little bit unusual. It might be a setting that you can enable, but it's just unusual that it doesn't have it right off the bat. All right, and let's do pinch to zoom. A little bit of stuttering on the G4. All 
Okay, so overall, when it comes to web browsing, these devices seem to be okay in terms of being matched, but overall, the S6, I would say, seemed to do a little bit better. Now, it is important to note that in scrolling, both pages did fine. Um, however, the G4 did load quicker. The S6 uh, seems to do much better at pinching to zooming, having less stutter, and as well as the double tap function works automatically, whereas on the G4, it doesn't seem to. So in terms of those two features, I just have to give the overall web browsing experience to the S6, just for it just seems to have better overall stability in web browsing. All right, now when we compare music, we definitely always compare the speaker placement first. The S6 has it on the bottom, whereas the G4 has it on the back. So definitely keep that in mind when you're looking at direction and where everything's pointing towards. All right, so we are going to start with the G4. And then go to the S6 and then go back and forth. Okay, so hopefully you could hear that. This actually curvature of my backdrop uh, does help when it comes to speaker being placed that way. But overall, what we found out over testing it in several different songs and in different areas, the LG, because of its rear firing speaker, doesn't sound directly to you, but it is definitely the louder between the two. However, it's also just not as good quality. It's a little bit tinty and just doesn't sound as really crisp as you would want a sound quality to be. Whereas the S6 is the better sound quality, but it does not quite get as high as the G4. For this reason, we went back and forth a couple of times, but overall it ended up being a tie. Overall, simply because of this. You either want a louder speaker or a better sound quality speaker, but it does depend on the person. Some people just want louder no matter what, and some people quality is king. Which one is it up to you? Well, that is indeed up to you. A lot of us, of course, love to watch YouTube and Netflix on our smartphones, so video is a big deal. And on these two, we have two of the best displays out there, and that is Quad HD. LCD and Quad HD Super AMOLED. So we're just going to see which one does better with this video and then talk about it afterwards. Okay, so hopefully you could see most of that. Um, there's no doubt about it that the LG screen is 
bigger, as we can obviously see with these two. But, of course, this really is where you see the difference of LED versus LCD. On LED, you get more colors. Uh, LCDs cannot produce certain colors like emerald and certain colors in the spectrum that they just cannot produce. Magenta, these are certain colors that cannot be produced in LCDs. And black is also one of them. Black right here, black right there is gray. So it's just it, it just seems a bit washed out at times compared to the depth of colors you get on AMOLED screens. Now if you're worried about it not being as true, you can always revert the AMOLED screen to photo display, which will make it exactly how it is in lifelike, but yet it's still deeper in colors. Overall, I feel that if you're going to be watching videos, you will get an overall better experience with the S6 just for that AMOLED display. It just cannot be beat currently in the industry. We're going to do this by the four categories we traditionally do, and that is starting off with low light and then go from there. Now the top photos will always be the G4 photos, and the bottom photos will be the Galaxy S6 photos. So let's jump right into it. Um, with this one, it really is a good comparison overall because both phones really do excel in low light, and that's where they both stand out, really, to be honest. And that is in low light, they definitely show just how good they are. If you would see this compared to an M9 or an iPhone 6, it is a substantial comparison, and this is why it just means so much more how good these two are in low light. Now, when comparing them side by side, though, we do get the beginning of the theme of these two cameras. And that is that although the G4 is really good, it just doesn't give the same depth of color that we consistently get with the S6. Now, here's what I mean. In this photo, both are really good in low light. You can see from things such as uh, everything in the photo on the building to the drapes if we zoom in and just everything in between we really can just see very well in this photo it just looks overall uh, good on both sides and the clarity is pretty much on par with both of them it just seems to do well overall now the difference really what I see from it is the fact that with these two the s6 just has a bit more color a bit more shade and the g4 just kind of be uh always what we call sharpening or or just being over sharpened in a lot of their photos and because of that it seems kind of flat um and so this is the first one that we get with these two uh and again they seem very similar overall really good um, and again this is why these ones are considered the best of the best is because in low light they're amazing so that's the first one which i would call a tie between these two now in this one this is the details comparison so we want to really just see the fine details and see which one picks up all the details better um, now in this one i would say that the LG screen definitely played a trick on me. And that is because on the G4, this photo looked so much better than how it does on the computer. And I found this kind of deceitful, to be honest, because the colors looked better than on the S6 one. And I was like, man, the G4 is going to win the detail one just because of how good the color and bright it looks. But yet when we put it on the screen on our computer, we were like, what what happened? <laughs> so it would seem to be the screen represented it very well. However, when we put it on the computer, we notice a bit of a difference here. Um, and that is, one, the S6 is actually a brighter photo than the G4 ended up being, and it just adapted to the light around it better. Uh, so we got a brighter photo overall. Now, when we go into details, we checked out a couple of things. Uh, first, mind you, just uh, the rubber on this part right here on black, it's very hard to tell. Almost uh, not detectable on the G4, it's very faint. Whereas on the S6, you can notice the two lines on each side a bit better. Now, when we moved on to the Mario Kart section of this, 
Again, we can just see a bit better detail in the Mario Kart 8 versus the Mario Kart 8 there. And the 32 Deluxe set, everything is just a bit better on the S6 version. As we scroll down to the game titles, uh, again, the biggest thing that I said looked amazing on the G4 when I had it on the screen was actually these. They just looked so sharp and it looked way better than the S6, but when we put it on a computer and load the image to a grander scale, it definitely does not look as clean as the S6 version did. Again, this was very surprising to me, but overall, in terms of detail on the screen, is not what I saw when I got to the computer. So keep that in mind that what you see on your screen might not be what other people see on their screen. And overall, in the detail comparison, uh, it flipped from the G4 winning it when it was on the screen to when we actually see the photo, the S6 easily takes it. So overall, yes, the S6 takes this one. In the color reproduction, again, this is where we go to the depth of color that is a bit lacking on the G4 compared to the S6. Now, again, very good detail in it. I would even say the G4 kind of, even though I focused on this one right in the middle, the G4 kind of got this lint a little bit better than uh, the S6. However, we were focusing on the colors on this one, so I did tap the box on both before taking the photo. And uh, with these two, again, we see a difference of color. Uh, so first, I'd like to point you out to the uh, different colors on the Family Feud box right here. You can actually see the different shades on the S6, uh, whereas here, they just kind of flatten out and look more like maybe two colors, whereas here, you really see a depth of field uh, just in terms of how much the colors uh, show off. Also, on uh, the taboo side, you can definitely see it was just concentrated on more in comparison to this one where uh, this area is kind of blacked out. It was the same lights on both uh, on both pictures. I literally put one phone aside and then took it with the other one. But this picked up the image uh, much better in comparison to this one, which kind of faded out. And because of that, the purple, the difference in the different color purple, we can see on here very clearly, whereas you can't really make it out on here. It's very subtle differences like that. Um, and then lastly on this one, which is a bit more detail, you can't see the shadows on uh, this area as much as you can on here. So let me zoom in a little bit more. You can just see the shadows and contrast a lot better in this section than you can on here. So overall, when it came to color reproduction, easily, uh, became a marker for the S6 again compared to the G4. Uh, overall, it just was going to be the better one. Now, possibly the most important for some people is going to be selfies. So yes, of course, we did a selfie comparison. And uh, the G4 is a 8 megapixel, and the S6 is a five megapixel. So overall, the G4 was a bigger image in comparison to the two, but how were they in clarity? And overall, good. So uh, we call this um, the over-under selfie on the channel, and that's because we really test out to just to see how good the selfie really can be. Now, what I mean by that is the left side of the screen is meant to overexpose. It's a very bright, it's a light coming from the top, which can definitely overexpose a shot. And on the right side, we have a dark area, which generally is underexposed. So you get more noise and fuzziness around uh, this kind of area. Now, when we compared uh, both of these photos, uh, we found something pretty interesting. And that is that um, the G4 definitely does not have the wide angle it does on its rear camera, on its front camera. As we can see on the S6, you have a much bigger field of view having the, uh, the light switch on here, which is not on this side. And the door you can see more clearly, which you can only see the tip of it on this side. So you have a much wider angle on the S6 comparing to the G4. Not to mention that even top to bottom, I had a much wider. You can see my picture 
on the S6, whereas on the G4, it kind of cuts off at the collar. And I held the phones at the same exact distance. And yet you got so much more in your shot with the S6. However, the detail is a bit more on the G4. So the detail on my face is a bit more on the G4. Now you can argue and say, well, if I brought the S6 up closer, then it would get a lot more detail as well. But just holding from the same area, you get more, you get more in your shot with the S6, but the G4 gave a little bit more detail. So which one is more important to you? Well, overall, I want the entire shot to be better. So for me, I would choose the S6. However, the G4 is really good at detail for the subject in the middle. So you have to take that into consideration. This one I would call a draw when it comes to selfies. Overall, my choice would be the S6 just because it's been the only phone to actually beat this challenge, not overexposing the top where you can see the entire stair rail as where you cannot on here. This signifies all of your bright day shots, like a lot that I took on my cruise came out perfect because the sun did not overexpose my shot. And also in the lower light selfies, I'm able to see more and better without getting as much noise as I did on the G4. So overall, again, for me, it would be the S6, but you can't deny that the G4, although more up close and more of a narrow shot, did get a little bit more detail, and that again is because of eight megapixels. So I'll be curious to see which selfie do you like more. All right, guys, that was the camera comparison between the LG G4 and the Galaxy S6. Let me know which one you liked better out of all these photos. I'm curious to see if you see anything different than I saw. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Now, when it comes to gaming, these do have some of the best graphics cards and processors on the market, if not the best. So really, when it comes down to these, on all games we've played on both devices, they really both do it great. So you really can't fault either one of these for the graphics performance on these two devices. So overall, because of this, I will give it a tie just because I think you're going to have a great gaming experience with either device. Neither one really stutters even at the most intense games. So for that reason, I will give both good comparison for gaming. Now, we took these two phones off of the charger at the same time when starting this comparison. And as you can see, the S6 at 72% and the G4 is at 71%. But that's not what is troubling. What's troubling is that this G4 is a Wi-Fi only version. So it doesn't have LTE. So the times when I turned the Wi-Fi off on both while I was recording another video, this one was using LTE in the background and downloaded a couple of things, whereas this one just stayed still. And yet there's still about the same percentage drop. I had to download a 4K video on this one as well during that same time, and yet still it stayed well. So this is the troubling thing uh, with me and the G4 is that, yes, really it doesn't seem to have as long as battery life. Even their time estimated remaining uh, battery usage is at 9 hours approximately versus 5 hours and 45 minutes approximately. Overall, the S6 has consistently had a better battery life compared to the G4, not to mention the fact that it will charge much quicker and you even have the ability to have wireless charging. Yes, I know that the G4 can use the adaptive fast charging as well, but even with that, it does not charge as quick as the S6 when using the fast adaptive charging. So although you can remove the battery, for my money, I'd definitely rather take the S6 in terms of battery life. Now, when it comes to extras, you can probably guess who will win, but it's not as clean cut as you might think. The LG G4 definitely has the straight up advantage when it comes to the removable battery and ability to add on a micro SD card storage. The S6 does not have this, but people do forget that it does have two in sensors that the LG does not. 
as it does have the heart rate sensor which you can use not only of course to take your heart rate take your stress level take your oxygen level but also even do things like take selfies on the edge you can use it to send a quick reply message when your phone is face down and of course my favorite feature on the hardware side that is the fingerprint scanner just quick fingerprint to unlock your device and man does it work perfect every time with this though overall you'd have to feel that even though the fingerprint unlock and the heart rate sensor can both be useful most people will lean towards the SD card and the removable battery for the extras category all that being said I would give it to LG when it comes to the extras category. Now when it comes to price, we checked out two different carriers for both of them. And with both of them, the LG is going to be the cheaper overall phone. And the G4 is $629 at AT&T and 599 at T-Mobile. The S6, on the other hand, is $6. $84.99 at AT&T and $679 at T-Mobile. So over on both cases, the G4 is the less expensive phone between the two. Now if you go under a two-year contract, that is the only time they are the same, but a lot of carriers are phasing these out. So overall, yes, the for the best bang for your buck, seeing as they have almost the same features, you are going to want to go for the G4 for the price point category. All right, now that we tied them all up, let's see who won. When it comes to look and feel, it is the Galaxy S6, just having the better overall look and feel in your hand and definitely more style. When it comes to web browsing, it's also going to be the S6 just because it has a better pinch to zoom and the double tap feature works, whereas the G4 did not, at least not out of the box. And on the G4, unfortunately, you just do not have that same kind of consistency in the web browsing. When it comes to music playback, it depends on what you like. The G4 is definitely the louder speaker. However, the S6 clearly sounds better. When it comes to movies, it's going to be the S6 just because that AMOLED screen makes the, every movie look better. When it comes to camera, it was a long, hard-fought battle between the two best cameras out in the market. But the S6 is overall the better one. Low light is going to be the same, but when it comes to certain things like detail and definitely color reproduction, you're definitely going to want the S6 on your side. When it comes to gaming, both are going to be exceptionally great at gaming and won't lag on you at all. When it comes to battery life, the S6 is going to have a better overall battery life, beating the G4 in battery life overall. When it comes to extras, however, the G4 comes right back and giving more extras with the SD card slot and removable battery. And when it comes to price point, the G4 is priced lower at two carriers on the US for the outright price, and therefore it's lower. So when we tally those all up, the S6 does take it. Yes, LG did make some great strides with the camera and overall with the unit. But in the end, the S6 is just in a league of its own when it comes to Android, beating in most of the important categories such as battery life, gaming, movies, look and feel, and web browsing. However, if you do want a less expensive product and it to have more extras like SD card and removable battery, your phone should be the G4. Hopefully you did like this review. Please give a like thumbs up if you did. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.